Voxel. Hello Voxel fans! Let's take a closer look at walk cycles in VoxEdit and making them look lifelike. This episode is sponsored by the Sandbox Creator Fund. Learn more about how you can start building assets for the Sandbox with VoxEdit and sell them using blockchain in the marketplace. Visit sandbox.game or check the description for links. In a previous video, we animated this little dude Exby. If you haven't already made him following along, you can grab his folder from the Dropbox link in the description. Download the whole folder as a zip file, extract it, then open it in VoxEdit. Make sure you have VoxEdit version 0.12.0 or newer, otherwise the run.vxa file won't open to let you work on this animation with me. From the animation selector, which should say idle by default, pick the run animation. XB has a very simple run cycle, but there's more we can do to enhance the way he moves. If you look at someone running, their body doesn't just swing their hips. Whenever the back leg pushes the ground to move the body forward, we also see the body moving upward. And when the front leg makes contact with the ground, we see the body begin moving downwards, preparing to launch forward and up again. In animation terms, we call these the up and down frames. There's a really good tutorial by Alan Becker which illustrates this concept for traditional drawn animation, which I've linked above. His explanation of where to place the up and down frames will be a little more complicated than I'll do here, mostly because Exby doesn't have any knees. But if you're making a more articulated figure, I recommend using Alan's video as a reference. In order to leave all of our existing motions for the legs and body intact, we'll do all of our work from the Exby node. We're going to add keys to frames 6, 12, 18, and 24 to line up with the rest of our one second animation. All of these should show a position of zero voxels on the Y axis in the transformation panel. On frames 6 and 18, Exby is in his up position, or the highest point that his legs kick out. So set the Y axis on those frames to one voxel and press play. Now he's got some pep in his step. Let's smooth this out a bit by setting all of the tween interpolations to quad ease in out, which will make the bounce have a natural flow and is less aggressive than the cubic motion used for the legs. To make eggs be a bit more extra, let's set the X rotation to lean forwards to 350 degrees on the down keys 1, 12, and 24. Then we'll lean the X rotation back to 10 for the up keys 6 and 18. Look at him go now. And that's it! Exby looks crack a lackin'. Get it? Because his shell is. Never mind. If you thought those jokes were terrible, but still got a good lesson, be sure to click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for a notification of the next Voxel lesson. As always, thank you for watching. <laughs>